this marks the very first session or video or whatever where I'm going to be mostly doing everything off live stream because I have started classes and I don't have large portions of my days to uh, to commit to live streaming. So we're going to do most of our uh, world progress off stream for the next while, unfortunately. Um, my goal right now, what am I doing? Sticks? Wood. Okay. My goal right now is to get our um, our little trading hall there finally, like, for real finished. We head down over to it. Of course, we need two more farmers and then one more librarian. And we need to cure these guys each once more. And then the two more farmers I want to get five times each, which is more spider eyes than i currently own i do not own this many spider eyes so a little bit of a problem there for me so we need to get a a source of mobs on this island which is actually quite a problem in fact i can't get mobs on the island i have to dig out to the the ocean biomes so last clip we went ahead and we got ourselves the uh the beacon or we got the nether star i suppose the beacon we've already set up and done some mining with I want to dig the mine that I started over here, which you can see beacon there. I want to bring that so it goes all the way over here and we have an entrance to the mine down in this area. And then from there I want to dig out you know, that way, but also dig out in this direction where we'll have a mob farm over under the ocean that way. So I have a redonkulous amount of digging to do to pull this off. Um, this is on like four or five beacons, uh, like, you know, Placing the beacon, mining out all of the, all of the sides, and digging. So we'll have a pretty ridiculous amount of resources from that, but we uh, we have to do a lot of mining for, for for our spider eye project. I know this sounds really redonkulous, and it it definitely is. But this is this is the way I've decided to do things. So um, this is probably like kind of like fifteen hours of mining I've got to pull off, and I really don't have any time to commit to this. So uh, hopefully, you know, I've got, I, get, I record another clip, hopefully, uh, within the next, like, five, five, five days. <laughs> okay, so I just spent, like, I don't know, two hours-ish. That seems about right. Two hours-ish mining. Um, and this is what I got. I got, oops, we got 22 spider eyes. What happened, ended up happening was we did our very first strip over at the beacon there, and we hit an abandoned mine shaft that went a fair bit out to the ocean over there. And so... There were a bunch of mobs, but you did get a bunch of other stuff that's, you know, around various locations. There's some rotten flesh we saw, some bones and other bones, and some string somewhere else. Bones. Yeah, so anyway, we got lots of that. We got all this iron and uh, and gold, which is <laughs> fantastic. I've started collecting hoppers in, like, you know, substantial-ish quantities here. And we're going to need lots, lots more. Anyway, yeah, this is a good start. And we have enough uh, spider eyes. I don't know, so we can kind of put that mob farm I was just talking about on hold now this is far more than what we need to uh to cure the rest of our zombies so let's um looking at this and i think i need to build something a little bit more automatic for my weakness potion brewing so let's um let's go consider one something like that okay that was super duper easy we didn't do anything like fully automated or anything all you do though is you walk down here when you want more of these potions which have just finished brewing you just pop that button spider eye goes in gunpowder is waiting so we'll be able to get all that we need brewed up so we need uh 10 doses for the two new guys and then three more so we need 13 doses yikes that's 13 golden apples ouch my wallet that's a lot of gold actually now that i think about it um let's go up here and see how much gold we have we might need to start smelting the gold we just got because we oh no we've got enough that's fine so we got that how many was that i don't know we're probably gonna need more anyway. there we go 16 more golden apples that's three more than what we need and i think we have some let's say five we're down here already yeah wow good guess me good job super smart perfect and there we go there's another another batch done can i do it again easy peasy lemon squeezy now I've got to do the long, boring thing of curing villagers that many times. Um, great. Okay, so I actually just ran into some pretty bad news. So this guy's sharpness book has gotten more and more expensive. 
And if we check out this farmer here, he's up to five potatoes per trade. So the way I've kind of sussed out how the curing process works is there's a certain amount of discount that is completely permanent from when you cure a villager. And one cure is enough to permanently have this trade and this trade as that is right ne right there. So it'll always be one melon for one pumpkin, or one me melon for one emerald, one pumpkin for an emerald. These trades, however, are a bit more. So to get them down to one, you have to infect the villager multiple times. It looks like when you cure a villager, there's a kind of, there's like a permanent, uh, like, there's a permanent discount that you always expect. But there also seems to be a piece of that trade is a is a degrading discount and so over time slowly a little bit of that you know that trade value will go back up and i don't know if each infection will permanent like add additional permanent discounts or if this is just going to slowly take its way up to whatever one cure would be i think our indicator would be if the carrots ever go up to two carrots per emerald that'll let us know for absolute certain that we are going to not be able to sustain one and one permanently for these trades if that's the case it's kind of a huge bummer actually um that means we would have to make a, a large pumpkin and melon farm like we had a couple worlds ago which wow this like what we have so far is by far less impactful on the server or the world i guess the internal server it's much cheaper and easier to build, so I'd really hate to have to invest, like you know, like the two thousand iron in another one of those melon and pumpkin farms, as well as the uh, world's resources. So we're just gonna have to YOLO it. I guess I'll test one villager, so I'll get one more into this spot, cure him five times, and see if after extended time in this area loading that villager, if he ever ticks up, and then if we at any point see this carrot trade become two, I think that'll pretty much, you know, set in stone tell us that. Our, our mission here has failed, and unfortunately we're going to have to look into other sources of XP. I mean, it's still incredibly good, don't get me wrong, even if it is two carrots per emerald. You know, that's still, you know, that's a, that's a single chest. We've got now a double chest, a double chest and a half, and then almost two double chests full of emerald just in this, and it doesn't take an incredibly long amount of time to get that resource. But oh boy, I was really hoping for that one-to-one. -one. Okay. So, we have managed to get this guy, he's all cured up five times. Um, yeah, we got lucky again, so he also has pumpkins, so we've actually already got four... This has been perfect, look at this, four pumpkin trades. So, even if we do have to switch over to melons and pumpkins, we've already got the uh, the villagers cured, at the very least. So that's, that's great. So what we're going to monitor is to see if any of these guys' carrot trades go up to two see that guy's gone up to five so they're kind of going in order of be having been cured that extra time i really hope it caps at five because if it goes any higher that means the carrot will start to go up as well um yeah so we're just monitoring to see if the carrot goes up or if this guy ever goes up at all i really hope it doesn't <laughs> it's going to take a really really long time it's taken it's taken an, an incredibly long time for these guys to tick up. Like, eight hours wasn't enough for them to go to, from one to two of potatoes. So this guy's going to take a, uh, his sweet time as well. So I'll leave this AFKing tomorrow while I'm at school. And hopefully by the time I get back, we see either the change in this or no change. I guess we won't, yeah, we probably won't know. If, if this is the limit, this will tick up. That means we won't see any change, and we won't know if it was enough time or not. So, <laughs> yikes! Ugh, it's yeah. I guess we're just gonna have to take keep our eye on this slowly over an, a really, really long period of time, and uh, in the meantime, move on to other projects in the area. There are numerous that I would like to get to. Um, one of the many being, you know, expanding the grass, making this look better. Um, getting trees and things like that around. I want to get some sort of structure around this, and I want to get a storage system down in that area. So there's plenty to do while we wait for that to tick up. So, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but, <laughs> oh well. 
Okay, these are our mostly done storage silos. The way this will work is uh, we're going to put items into our sorting system from somewhere. I haven't decided which way I want things to flow just yet. Um, but once they go over a sorting module not yet installed, they'll enter into this chest system. And as these chests fill up, there'll be a redstone signal turning on these lamps all the way up. So when the lights are off, it means it's either totally empty or there's only items in this thing. But once this is filled and filled, fill, filled, once this is filled <laughs> and items start going into these chests, the lights will turn on as the chests get items. So I'll demonstrate by doing that. And then if you put one in there, you see like that. Oh, right. We're missing one on that side. But you get the idea. That's how that works. So that's going to be super mega cool. And I can't wait for, uh, for getting use out of this. Um, I think it's eight double chests plus the eight, nine, ten, nine hop, eight or ten, nine or ten hoppers, and then the barrel at the bottom. So that's a pretty healthy amount of storage. We're gonna have uh, stone, cobblestone, and dirt. And I think we're gonna, we might have the different kinds of dirt go into this. Um, maybe I don't know. I don't think because I don't have. I mean, I guess I do have a lot of mycelium. I'll think about it. But uh, right now, well, that's just three. We have, won't be that bad. We're to we'll totally do that. Never mind, we'll totally do that. That won't be bad at all. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll set that up. Um, you know what? We could do a fourth for sand, gravel, and flint because three is easy to set up. Okay, we're going to do it. Give me a second. We'll set up the fourth one. All right, we got it all set up now. So we've got stone, cobblestone, dirts, plural, sand, gravel, flint, and, ooh, and a comparator apparently. And then the uh, the new ores in here as well. So here we go. Now uh, what happens is we've got this loading chest over here. So say for example, I want to put some dirt in. That activates this observer clock, which is a little on the laggy end. Oh, and I forgot the water here. Some of it makes it in though. That's cool. <laughs> and this is an easy fix. You just do some of that. Boop boop, and we put it back in and try again. So that, those items get put up to there. Now I know I have a way up somewhere. I just have to figure it out. Yikes, good jump. Professional parkour skills. Oh, I got caught on the same block. Anyway, we'll just uh, <clears throat> move on right past that one. So the items come up this elevator and then they get aligned along these chests. They're on both blocks. The water forces it up against this and they're on both this ice block and the hopper. So it can go over any hopper that has that item. So say I put smooth stone in which doesn't get filtered at all so we put smooth stone in it goes right over and it'll keep going oh oh that's in that's a solvable problem so we just have to make sure that hmm. okay give me a minute while i fix that up Okay, so we got this working thanks to T3Vibs in my chat. He was very helpful, and I'm surprised it works. We see everything's making its way over. The tricky part was this, because we only had one block to work with. Amazingly, these items flow over this successfully. I didn't think they would, but they, they totally do, which is very cool. Um, what I thought I was going to have to do is have two block spaces, but I guess this isn't necessary anymore. But I thought I was going to have to have this configuration for them to make it over, but I guess this one ice and ice is enough which was really good because that was really going to throw a big wrench in my sorting system like late plans if that was the case so very good and cool we've got something functional um also we could probably move all the ice underneath the water it looks like although i think there we might be losing some friction on these two so we won't bother we'll just leave it as it is the setup works and that's what's most important all right so weirdly we switched that to blue ice thinking that might fix it we're, we're still seeing items Getting, getting stuck on nothing. Um, get, nah, we can't see it from there because it's up against the other edge. Um, <laughs> there shouldn't be anything stopping them from going upward there. I'm really confused as to what to do about that. The hitbox is definitely within the bubbles. Hmm. That's so weird. I'm going to go into a creative test world and see if we can't figure out what's going on with this. Alright, so my best guess of what was going wrong here is there is a momentum desync thing where the items weren't picking up enough momentum from the water before entering into the stream. Um, 
we're going to go with a solution again that Vib suggested. He's on fire today, and I appreciate that so much. Um, <laughs> we're, we're going to move the soul sand down one block, which fixes the problem completely. Which is, again, fantastic. I really didn't want to have to move a bunch of things a whole bunch. Instead, that'll just work perfectly fine. If we go and grab a few stacks, we'll be able to watch it all go in, and nothing will get caught down on the bottom. I don't know. There we go. That works, though. So, good job, us. We've solved the crisis. Hallelujah. Oh. Okay, well, we'll just put that in there. <laughs> All right, through exploring, we finally managed to find some coral so we can get a pickle farm going. It is a large, expansive coral reef. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> it's enough, though. We'll be able to get started on some... Can I... Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Let's get some stuff, then. Very cool. Definitely nice to have this stuff. Finally made it to the jungle. We are here for jungle saplings, cocoa beans, and hey, there it is, bamboo. Cool. That's everything we need from this place. Actually, I haven't seen the cocoa beans yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's all we're here for. And then we get to go the 10,000 blocks back home. Great. We... It's not done, but we've got functioning in a way that we're able to to let it, let it rip like a Beyblade. Our, our sorting system, storage silo, and there's a small thing over there so every single item you see in this chest is sorted in this sorting system this pickle is not sorted so we're gonna grab every single thing of these like so we're gonna put them into this chest we're gonna grab our pickle put it last and there goes the pickle Every one of these items is going to go into its correct location. These we already know they work, so we're not testing those. It's going to go into these chests here, the appropriate ones, and the pickle's going to get deposited here. Ooh, what was that trap door? That was scary. Oh no. So far, so good. Here comes the pickle, last item on the list. Pickle in this chest, and there should be... Yeah, that looks right. No, nope, we're missing items in there. How did we get two of it? Okay, something's gone. Something's gone wrong here. <laughs> oh boy, what did I forget? I, it might be something that that I have extra of in here. <laughs> I had. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, only one thing went here, which is the pickle, which tells me either. There are probably incomplete stacks of items in these filters, maybe? Or I just grabbed the wrong- Oh, yeah, the torches. There definitely weren't enough torches in there, so that's why there's no torch there. That brings us to one item missing from this one. And then that one's correct. We're missing torches. Yeah, okay. Torches. Let's, let's go load it up with torches. Did I miss something in there? No. And then what's the last redstone component? Supposed to be weavers. Just zero. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, what are the other two items? Okay, we're just gonna have to go through the hoppers to figure it out. Redstone block. Oh, that's one. That's definitely one. That should have made it, though. Maybe I forgot to grab it. Redstone block. Redstone block not in there? Redstone block is in there. Damn it. <laughs> Dropper. Piston. Hopper. Imperator. Lever. Observer. Pressure plate. Button. Repeater. Block. Torch. Dust. That's that's 12. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What the hell? Did I have something twice? Am I just dumb? This is... 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't have- we, not, we don't have block. I know we don't have block, so let's grab blocks. We don't have blocks. What else? 
Okay, I know what we'll do. This is okay. Dropper, yes. Piston, yes. Hopper, yes. <laughs> Comparator, yes. Lever, yes. Observus, yes. Pressure plate, yes. Oop. Button, yes. Repeater, yes. Block, yes. Torch, oh right, torches again. They should have made their way through now. God, I can't believe, I'm an idiot. I know, I'm so stupid. There they are, we did it, it, it works. <laughs> yeah, so this works, uh, it, it sorts um, all of those items that we went through here. So these three here, all of the wooden logs, all of the redstone components, not all the components, but all of those ones. Then we sort these items, these items, these items, that, and that. Oh, it works. So whenever we have any of these items, the goal is to be able to put almost any item in the game into the system and just it goes where it's supposed to go. Obviously, the one things we use more often will be closer to this area here. Uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. This is going to be tricky to expand, though. I've never done a water-based um, filtration system. Um, they're faster, but they're also, they use up a lot more space than just hoppers. Um, cause for example, if we wiggle through here and I have to work on a better way to get between, if we look at this, uh, this entire water stream above this, like these, all of these blocks, I just picked up three through that block. Okay. If we could replace this block of, uh, glass, that smooth stone there, the pressure plates, the water and that glass on the other side with just hoppers. They're a lot smaller to do it the other way, although those that way is a lot slower. And we want our items to get faster if possible. So I've never done this before. I'm not used to kind of space management with this kind of machinery. But uh, I, th th this was definitely fun to work on. Um, these storage silos as well I'm really, really pleased with. I want to have, I think, doors or something here that allow you to get back behind and access the back storage. But, um, yeah, this has come, this has gone pretty well, I think. Uh, there are a handful of items I still need to sort, like, I'm thinking glass, emeralds, the vines, and, uh, mossy cobble and brick I'd like to sort as well. Uh, coal, lapis, I guess, um, <laughs> mob drops, definitely mob drops, true, yeah, shoot. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything, and we'll probably have... Just kind of like a large underground storage area that maybe uses the old iron method after a point. The, the uh, hopper method after a certain point to sort things. Because this is this is only necessary for stuff I use often, I think. Okay, so we did a bunch of mining trips. No, that's not true. We did some. We did like one and a half trips mining. And we gathered some resources. Um, we mined with fortune so we'd get more cobblestone. So this is super close oh good one god damn it <laughs> uh it's super close to getting its first light on um and i crashed <laughs> i did it on the wrong one uh big oof um i do plan on doing something with doors here not sure what yet um yeah so these two once they're all full okay i was gonna wait what Why is cobblestone just now landing in this? Something, something's funky. This cobblestone is not what's coming up anymore. What? What is that? Anyway, we had to slow this down because items were actually coming by so fast that it was flooding the system. So I'm coming in again. So now we're not going to see what was broke. What was happening? I just see a piece of cobblestone go by. That's redstone death. Why is it alternating between... What? Oh. <laughs> right, that's what happened. Ugh, that's why it's going in at a, weird, at a weird pace. Okay, yeah, so what was happening is the items were coming out of this so fast that eventually, if we looked at... I don't know, we'll pick a filter. If we had, like, three stacks of oak logs in a row, 
this would fill up and then start activating the other neighboring sides. And I could fix that by having filter blocks that never enter the system. And that's something we're going to look for, look into down the road. But for now, there's really, really, really no sense, I don't think, to doing that. When I All I can do is slow down the system by... I changed out the, the, um, the observer clock with one of the old-fashioned ones. And then I've got a two-tick delay on this repeater. Which basically it halves the time that items go through, so it, it you know it sorts much slower. But the upside to that is it doesn't crash, and I don't have to do thirty-eight stacks of filters, which I re I really didn't want to do. So yeah, there's that. We didn't get very much iron out of our uh, out of our uh, mining trip, but that it's not really what we were looking for. End of the world.